Well, yeah, I, of course, I feel good. Uh, we're playing, uh, you know, a different team. Uh, defenses are different, and our game plan is different. So, you, you know, you anticipate, uh, of course, playing well, and you have to go out and do it, though. And you can't think back what you did the previous week. Even if you have a bad game during the season, you know, I've uh, had, a, had a tendency to linger on, you know, performances like that. And you can't do that, whether it's good or bad. So I'm, this is a new situation. I, I feel good, though, and our team has worked hard. And, uh, of course, the Steelers are a tough football game, so, or a tough football team, so it's going to make for a very interesting day, and it's going to be a big challenge to our offense. Now, what about Jack Lambert? This guy's come up with some big plays in the playoff games. He's recovered three fumbles, and he's only in his second year, but he's very experienced. He's played every game for the Steelers in the last two years. Well, he's, um, of course, an exceptional middle linebacker. He's in the Pro Bowl. He's he's very uh, agile. You know, he plays a run well. He's he's tall, and uh, probably the, one of the most active middle linebackers is, as far as pass coverage is concerned. He gets back. He's got a lot of range, and he's got good speed. So he's uh, you know ranked with the best middle linebackers in football and. I think his height and his speed, of course, gives him an advantage, uh, especially in the passing game. It's no secret to Dallas fans that Roger Staubach's ability to run the football has helped carry that team through some tough times this season. And if Roger has to run Sunday against the Steelers, he will most likely meet linebacker Jack Lambert head on. Jack, in going against Roger Staubach, what concerns you most about his style of play? I guess mostly breaking the, breaking the pocket and uh, scrambling for that first down. You know, a lot of times you can hold him three plays and it'll be third and third and twelve or you know third and ten, and he'll you'll have a perfect coverage and he'll break it for 15 yards. And now you got a first down. So I, we have the same problem with him that we had last year with Tarkenton. You know, keeping him contained in the pocket. The Cowboys have a very good efficiency rating on third down, especially coming out of the shotgun. I'm sure they do. I think a, probably a main reason is because of Starbucks' ability to run with the football. You know. You've been coming up with some big fumble recoveries this year, three in the playoffs. Yeah, that's, uh, I think I had three all year. <laughs> but I just happened to be in the uh, right position at the right time. Uh, the weather had a lot to do with it, you know, and the fumbles, the turnovers, and also the type of hitting that was going on. It was, uh, it was a very physical game, and anytime you have a game like that, you're going to have turnovers.